What's up, bitches? So Joe Coward coming at y'all live from uh, just outside the Royal Palace here. The Royal Palace, goddamn, I, I sound southern as fuck, don't I? So the Royal Palace, the Royal Palace. I'm just kind of riding around, get a look at all the people here. It's about, I say right now it's about like 425, 430 in the afternoon on a Sunday. This is what you can expect up here. A lot of people off. Now this, now this little strip here, just, just, just so you guys know, so you can get um, accustomed to the, the layout of uh, Phnom Penh. This road is not for public use on like a moto, or on a tuk-tuk. You know, like so, so, so like if you guys run out of tuk-tuk or want to, want to drive your moto through here, you, you cannot. However, you can ride your bicycle like I do, or walk, or run or whatever you want to do. But you cannot ride a moto. So I'm gonna turn around and head up towards Sakandal. And just kind of like show you guys around, talk a little shit. Yeah, yeah, man. So today, this morning uh, was pretty good. We watched uh, uh, UFC 202, McGregor versus Diaz uh, 2. And my mother joined us. Uh, my friend Lance what, uh, watched the fights with us. And my good buddy Wasim came by and watched the fights with us as well. Which is, which is you know, it was kind of an un uh, unexpected surprise to uh, <laughs> kind of an unexpected surprise to to have all those people come over and um, enjoy enjoy the fight so much man and, oh shit see what I'm saying man see what I'm saying man, I could have just killed that little baby I could have just killed that little baby man. <laughs> anyways yeah so watching uh, 202 was was good and then uh, went on a nice swim today did did some laps after the fight felt good ate some bomb ass sushi ate some good hot pot today got all the people all the all the kamai sitting here now these, these are like little sugar cane they take those little pieces of sugar cane like the cane and they, they chop them up into little cubes or whatever like little pieces rather and uh they charge <laughs> they charge like 500 real or whatever for like a handful and they're good you can just like chew on them you just chew on them and you uh like suck out the, the sweet juice and then you uh, spit out the uh, the fiber or the tree. It's kind of it's kind of kind of nice on a hot day. It's 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 refreshing on a hot a hot day, hot summer's day. All right, guys. So I'm I'm pulling up here to my favorite shooting spot. I don't. I honestly don't have like a particular uh, motive in this video. I just I just uh, saw a pretty sky and some nice architecture, and, and I thought I I just bust out my camera. Shit. So let me uh. I only got one hand. Hold up. Hold up, man. Hold up. I got one hand, guys. I'm putting my I'm putting my life at risk. I put my health at risk for you guys. Some some sometimes I feel kind of awkward, like when I'm out in public filming, because like people people look at you. Of course, they're like they're like, what is this guy doing filming himself? And sometimes they know who I am, like 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 they know I'm doing a video or whatever, or people like. Even the Kamai people, like, they look at me funny, or they'll they'll laugh at, like, what I'm doing, so. It's always cool, man. It's always good to go outside your comfort zone. I get a lot of people asking me, you know, they'll, they'll ask me, they'll be like, hey, no joke, why don't you go out to a, uh, you know, and do and do like a survey, and, and like, and, and like talk to people, or go out to a girl bar at night and like see what it's like, or go, go, go out and about and like film people, and like, like go to things and film like these events or parties or whatever people ask me to film like like give a tour of my home you know guys I mean look first off I'm not giving you a tour of my fucking home all right uh, the only people who know what my what, what my home looks like are the people who who pay rent to live there the people that we have over as friends and then some of the clients I train I digress so that's all there is to that like I'm not showing you guys around my house I mean it's my fucking home man fuck you anyways uh, people what else, what else do people want to see? Yeah, they want they want they want me to like go to girl bars and shit and like talk to hookers and they want me to talk to like these tuk tuk drivers on the street and talk to all these sketchy ass people. Man, look guys, look that's that is not what my channel's about. All right, I'm I'm not a barong. I'm not a barong in like the classical sense where like you know like the dude I was doing videos with like no like um shout out to Swartz by the way he he made it back to uh, Brooklyn safely. Um, you know there was some 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 uh, you know some 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 talk about people didn't like him in my videos or whatever look man uh, he was a guy that I had been communicating with for a long time and he seemed cool to me and shout out to Schwartzman I had 
it's all good whatever um but yeah man i mean typically when 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 i have other people in my videos or i go out in public and get others involved involved in my videos pardon me um it can kind of fuck up my flow it can kind of fuck up my chemistry and and you guys notice that like when i have people in my videos like it's never quite the same so that's why i'm going to try to just keep it me i'm, I'm just, just just trying to keep uh just try to keep it a uh, solo man just this, 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 this is like a solo act now i got this family i got this family over there fucking staring at me man i got this family standing right behind me <laughs> um yeah man so i don't have a particular message in this video other than the fact that other than the fact that uh i'm not i'm not going to do much more collaboration with others um i think that it that's a waste of my time i've done several videos with my mother and every time i do a video with my mom she wants me to delete them because she's like embarrassed or whatever like she gets so it's just like don't waste my fucking time you know and 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 uh i don't know guys so i'm just gonna ride my bike around i just smoked a fat ass fucking bowl too jesus christ i had a I had a fantastic day i spent the day with friends we watched we watched an, an incredible fight card man ufc 202 was awesome the the knockout from anthony johnson to glover to share was was sick dude i'm all for johnson i've always been an anthony rumble johnson fan always um i think that he of, of course he he should be fighting dc um i think an even bigger money fight would be john jones of course just because of the name but i'd like to see him go 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 at it with dc again because that because because that was a pretty good fight to start with anyway um I digress. So I'm gonna make some more videos. I'm gonna respond to some emails here, but but just a little update on myself. Um, apologize if some of the videos I've made lately haven't really been on par because I've I've gotten a lot of comments and emails where people are saying like like bring back the the old school like no joke videos like 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 bring back the old uh, the old no whatever the fuck y'all said. I kind of agree. I I I kind of agree. Uh, the, la the last few videos that I've done with people haven't really maybe it's just me being lazy just letting them take over but definitely kind of fucks up my style a little bit again no offense to anybody who was ever in a video of mine Schwartz uh no offense to you partner we're cool man no offense to my mother but from now on it's just gonna be me um yeah so anyways guys if you want to email me it's no joke striking at gmail.com bitches that's <laughs> No joke, striking at gmail.com, bitches. Now, look, I still get emails about... Hold on, hold on. Let me check my time. Hold on. Oh, man, I'm at like eight minutes. Man, fuck you guys. I'm going to talk a little bit more. Fuck you. I get... I still get fucking emails, man. How much the TEFL teachers make. Look, people. Look, dude, look this shit up online. They're like, 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 when you type in anything about Cambodia... Uh, uh, just, 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 just type in Tefl Cambodia. Y you will find some shit about how much they make. Now, some of my videos might even come up. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure. I think, I think my videos are, are starting to get a little more popular on the web. I think, I think so. I think, I'm think, I think I'm starting to just get a little more, just a little bit more recognition, maybe, possibly, uh, which is cool. So, anyways, man, stop fucking emailing me about how much Tefl teachers make, man. Look, Tefl teachers make. A thousand or more a month if you work full time. Typically speaking, if you work for a shitty school, you're going to make around 800. My first school I worked at, I worked at Belty, and I made cat. I made like like under the table, like cash, uh, like nine nine eighty five a month or some shit. Uh, I granted, I had no TEFL, I had no experience, which which goes to show that you don't even need a TEFL to get a job here. Uh, I, I I worked at Royal Intercon School. Royal, 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 Royal Intercon, man, fuck you, Royal Intercon School Street, uh, 230, 230, and uh, they paid me about 800 bucks a month, so, um, yeah, man, so anyways, I got fired from that, it was the best thing that ever happened to me, man, I'm training people, I'm living my life, man, it, it, it's like I make enough money and I got all this free time, so I'm, 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 I'm trying to use it positively. So shout out to all my friends. Shout out to UFC 202. <laughs> it was a great fight car. Shout out to all the fans out there, MMA fans, my fans. I appreciate you guys very much for your support. So, all right, guys, fuck yourself.